Russia is an enormous country, so large that it spans 11 time zones and two continents. Russia occupies 12.5% of the total land area of our planet's landmass. And despite these unbelievable numbers, Russia is facing a critical problem. Russia is shrinking. It's not about reducing its territorial area, it has plenty of that. What's shrinking in Russia is its population. The population indices of Russia have been decreasing continuously for the last 30 years. When compared to other countries, Russia naturally excels in size, being the largest country in the world. But when you look at Russia's population, a significant difference can be seen compared to other countries. The current population of Russia is approximately 143 million people. And this population is smaller than that of Bangladesh, Brazil, the United States, India, and others. Despite being the largest country in the world, its ranking in population is only ninth, trailing behind many much smaller countries. Interestingly, Russia is less populous than Bangladesh, a country 118 times smaller than the gigantic vodka nation. With over 169 million inhabitants, Bangladesh currently has 26 million more inhabitants. Just this difference of 26 million is a population larger than that of Australia, 25 million, or North Korea, 24 million. Another interesting or strange fact we can observe is the island of Java within Indonesia. With a population of 145 million people, the island of Java is the most populous island in the world. Java is 123 times smaller than Russia, yet its population surpasses it. In the past, Russia was one of the three most populous countries in the world. So why has this changed? And why does Russia continue to shrink? About a century ago, there were more Russians than Americans, and all this problem started during World War II. This war devastated the Soviet Union entirely, and the Soviet Union in just four years of war, precisely between 1941 and 1945, lost about 14% of its entire population. These 14% represent 40 million, which is the same population as Iraq or Ukraine. These war scars created social consequences that persist to this day, and the negative effects are still felt today. A nation is formed of people, regardless of its size, military power or territory. Without people, it's impossible to maintain the system as it exists today. Governments rely entirely on tax payments, labor and industries maintained by the people. So let's imagine that you were born in the Soviet Union around 1923. You would certainly have been recruited to fight in the war as a soldier, and you would have, at best, a 20% chance of remaining alive, 10% chance of remaining intact with all limbs, and a 5% chance of remaining without any psychological damage. This means that only 20% of men born around 1923. Only 20% of them survived until January 1st, 1946. Population growth charts were completely affected after the war. And this had a negative impact on the entire country's demographics. Birth rates decreased, meaning fewer babies were born. And a large number of people left the territory at that time. Men of military service age are also precisely the men who can have children. In a reality where more than 20% of men are dead, it's normal for the birth rate to decrease drastically. Approximately 30 million Soviets died in the war among civilians and military. These 30 million people stopped having millions of children who would generate the next generations, and this natural growth was interrupted. The Soviet Union only began to grow again almost 25 years later, when the birth rate returned to its normal levels. But in 1991, it entered crisis again, a political crisis. And the countries that were part of the Union demanded to leave and receive political autonomy in their own territories. So, on August 29, 1991, the Soviet Communist Party was made illegal due to its corrupt and authoritarian rulers. This generated profound economic and social unrest. This new crisis caused the birth rate to plummet again. Russia experienced its first population decline in 1992, right after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. The nation went through various social and economic problems, and the mortality rate increased considerably. This contributed to many couples not having children or leaving the region. Population graphs show that since 1992, the Russian population decreased until 2012, when finally birth rates began to grow again. 
Russia felt the increase in immigrant rates, an increase in the overall population, and even in tax revenues. Although it didn't continue growing in the following years, Russia held steady until 2019, when the global pandemic began. The virus shook the whole world, took many lives, and impacted the global economy. Russia didn't escape damage in this crisis. It was severely affected by the virus from the beginning to the end of the pandemic. COVID-19 took the lives of 388,000 Russians until finally the situation was brought under control before the levels could recover or the real impact be felt. Russia invaded on February 24, 2022 with the aim of capturing Ukrainian territory and controlling it. Ukraine desired to join the powers of the West, joining NATO and American forms. So far, this action has cost more than 250,000 lives. Because Russia claims it won't accept NATO turning all its weapons toward it and controlling almost everything. Today, most of the countries bordering Russia are NATO allies. So, in the event of an attack, it's entirely surrounded by enemies. And this was the main argument for the attack that has taken the lives of all these 250,000 people. And this number will continue to grow until the end of the conflict. Another major problem is the Russian citizens who don't agree with the invasion of Ukraine. So far, more than 100,000 Russians have already left their homeland, many of them afraid of being called for military service. And so the story repeats itself, men in the prime of their fertile age losing their lives in war or leaving Russia behind. The impact of losing these people will be felt in the near future and history shows us that the birth rate will again decline. Looking at it from this perspective, there is a strong separatist movement within Russia, as we have seen here. It was precisely due to social conflicts that the Soviet Union disintegrated. And it might be due to the current conflicts that some regions will leave Russia and become independent. You cannot ignore the urgency of this crucial moment in contemporary history. The next video is a window to understanding the profound ramifications of the invasion in Ukraine and how it is transforming Russia in unimaginable ways. This is not just another international conflict. It is a geopolitical cataclysm with repercussions that will echo for decades. In the video, we will delve into the underlying reasons, unveil recent developments, and unravel the intricate connections that are redefining the global landscape. By grasping the complexities of this crisis, you will be equipped with essential insights to form an informed opinion. Discover how the invasion is influencing Russian politics, economy and society, reshaping the nation in unexpected and sometimes perplexing ways. By watching, you become part of a community of critical thinkers seeking to understand the ever-evolving world around us. Don't just witness events, but comprehend the whys behind them. We invite you not only to watch, but to engage in meaningful reflection on Russia's role on the global stage, the immediate and long-term consequences of this invasion. This video is an opportunity to increase your awareness and contribute to an informed dialogue about the challenges we face as a global community. Prepare for an experience that transcends superficial headlines and delves into the nuances of this international crisis. Click to watch and find out why the invasion in Ukraine is transforming Russia in ways no news headline can fully capture. Join us on this intellectual journey and be part of a conversation that will shape the collective understanding of our ever-changing world. Click now and dive into the true essence of these events.